In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to work with Panopto in terms of auto-generating captions and editing those auto-generated captions. At this point, you'll see that I'm already inside my Instructor Sandbox, and I have a basic PowerPoint that I've set up. When I hover over this PowerPoint, I will get a variety of different options along the bottom in terms of menus. We're going to go ahead and edit this in Panopto's editor. So we will go ahead and select edit from the bottom. And we're going to be redirected here into the actual editor itself. Now for this example, I'm not so concerned about the editor on the timeline on the lower corner. What I'm really concerned about is this menu along the left hand side below where it says contents. By default, contents is lit up and red, but below that you'll notice that we have a captioning tab. I'll go ahead and select the captions tab. And what you'll see here is that I have the ability to import captions. Now, captions are normally automatically generated and they're done through Watson. Depending on which way you record this, captions may already be in your video. But in this case, since I did not use the beta capture, um, I'm going to go ahead and import automatic captions. I also have the ability to upload or request. But to be perfectly honest, the captioning is so darn good for the auto-generated, probably importing automatic captions is going to be the way to go here. When I select the import automatic captions, you'll notice that all of my captions now are listed here and they are all time stamped as to when they will play in this side here. I can also edit any caption and this is a great task for a um, GA or a teaching assistant to possibly edit. Um, since most of the work is done, all you need to do is next to the timestamp, select and you can push edit and now you can very quickly edit the text in any one of these you can also edit the time where the caption starts i'll go ahead and just save that as is in addition to that we can delete a caption by selecting next to the time and selecting delete i'm not going to go ahead and do that at this point you'll also notice as i select these different captions it's going to jump if you look at my screen it's going to go ahead and jump the timeline and the presentation as I select these different times. This is a particularly intuitive and simple way to caption and edit your captions. I encourage you to experiment with this. I think that in no time you'll have no problems working this caption editor. Once you're done with this and you have all of your captions as you would like, navigate up to the right hand corner and make sure that you apply your changes by pushing the red apply button. If you're unhappy with your changes, you can always select revert. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. For more information, please visit us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.